A tweet has been going around proving that Amber actually tricked us, so it seems like Adam Waldman. Johnny's attorney never lied when he stated that all Amber and her team did was a hoax against Johnny and it has been recently revealed. So notes of when Adam talked to Drew prove that what Amber and her then best friend Rocky Pennington had said was a lie. Both had sworn that Amber had summoned Rocky at around 8.07 p.m. to come help with the berserk Johnny, but the truth is that Rocky had been hiding in Penthouse 5 all along in the closet by the front door. This actually explains why in both the security guards' testimonies, Rocky never came past them and was already in the apartment when they entered. This also explains why Johnny said that Rocky Rocky came out of nowhere past his right shoulder to go stand with Amber. The tweet also revealed that Amber was with Elon Musk the entire week after the 21st, except Franco's night the 22nd, and that she and Elon were into some kinky stuff together, and that's why she did have some marks on her sometimes. Also, there was a big break between Johnny's departure and calling the cops which was about an hour or more. During that period of time, they all sat together in Penthouse 3 on the phone with Samantha Spector, Amber's divorce lawyer, who was guiding them to writing it all down and to get their stories straight before calling the cops. If all this information had been released earlier, the case might have ended earlier than the six weeks that went through. The jury could have already seen how malicious Amber really was and made their verdict days earlier. And Johnny would not even have been found guilty on any counts by the jury. We saw all of Amber's friends claiming how good Johnny is and how they all loved him until he used drugs or drank alcohol and that's when he changed and became a monster. Now it's quite clear that they used him and made him believe he was an actual monster. These friends used to stay in Johnny's penthouses rent-free and when Amber decided she wanted Johnny Johnny's penthouses for herself, they decided to help her get it. There's even an audio recording of Amber telling Johnny that she had made lies about him because she was afraid she and her friends were going to be kicked out of his penthouse. How ridiculous is that? So for this hoax, she claims that Johnny pushed her against the wall, clocked her face and pulled her hair and that's when she called Rocky, who then called their other friends. She presented in court edited images of herself in different lighting. Claiming she took the said pictures after Johnny had left, she also claims that she never wanted to report Johnny for what he had done and that's why she had refused to give a statement when the first policeman came. But we now know that when she called them the first time, they did not find anything that would show that Amber had been domestically abused by Johnny, but just a normal couple disagreement. When they left, her and her friends then went ahead and ruffled up the house to set up a crime scene of some sort. This time when they called the policemen, they asked if she could give a statement and that's when she refused. She later went to the police to get a restraint training order against her ex-husband with a bruise on her right cheek. What does not seem to add up is the fact that she went to report the incident six days after meeting Johnny. And in those six days she had no mark on her face but on that particular day she had a bruise on her face. She had also informed the paparazzi of the fact that she would be getting a restraining order against Johnny and that she had a bruise on the right side of her cheek that they should take pictures of. After all this drama she caused, she still went looking for Johnny in his hotel asking him to hug and kiss her. Why would she go to her abuser that she has filed a restraining order against and still want him to hug and kiss her? It's a good thing that now the entire world knows what kind of person she is. A manipulative and lying woman. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.